Hello everybody, Luke the Fluke here, welcome back to some more blind let's play of Resident Evil 3 where last we left off. I sort of did a little bit of a backtracking to get the shotgun, obviously, you know, to get another jewel, apparently. I have no idea what to do with them, so, um, also I should say no spoiler, no spoiler warnings, because like I said, this is the very first time that I played this game, and most of the time I am guessing and just making sure that I don't miss anything. So, uh, which is why I did a bit of a backtrack in, in the second part. Uh, I've decided to do probably two more videos, and after that, uh, I'm probably going to do the same thing with what I did with Resident Evil 2. I do two videos per day, that kind of thing, like something like that. So, um, these first four videos is more like a one-off kind of thing, and then, um, obviously, then I'll go back to what... I did with Resident Evil 2, like do two videos per, you know, per day, that kind of thing. Uh, because even though I I want to spend quite a lot of time with this game, because I have heard that this is a pretty short game apparently, so I want to take as much time as I want with it. So I'll definitely go back and replay. Um, it a lot more like I do with Resident Evil 2. So, uh, with that being said, let's get right back to it, shall we? Can you see us? Uh, yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, alright? I'm not an effective. Okay, no, 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 wait, please! <gasps> what the fuck? Was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. Uh, and what are you, UBCS, <laughs> killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self preservation. Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Oh, uh, you know, Joe. He does technically have a point. Training log. July the 10th, 202 pounds, 12 laps of the yard, two circuits. Suck it, prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job, a job. Don't know how they're going to wipe out their life sentence for murdering 20 gang members, but whatever, I'll take it. Beats shitting away the rest of my life behind bars. I got to get back into shape. July 26, 196 pounds, 20 green meters run, three circuits, time hit practice at 400 yards, five misses. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a UBCS training cramp where I fired my first bullet in, the ho in two whole years, missed a stationary by five target, five, yeah, by five inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything, doesn't matter. I get shot again, watch me. August the 15th, 190 pounds, 30 kilometer run, three, circuit, three circuits, target practice at 600 yards, two misses. Okay, I got my shot grouping down to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The cap and the other guys are good people and goddamn beasts of war at that. But what the fuck is up with that? Lunatic Nikolai, he used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. September the 25th, 181 pounds for a kilometer run for circuits. Target practice at 600 yards, no misses. Murphy's back, baby. 
you never miss me. Well, you never see me miss another target. Tomorrow, I'll go back on my first mission. Riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people right up until those streets pongs took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change the way I know best. Well. I'm pretty sure we have to go the way that I assume that's Nikolai. I no idea, I'm just guessing. Also, I think I got the dodge down as well, but, um, yeah. Right. Oh, hang on, ammo, nice. UBCS suicide note. This is September the 28th, the Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was, figured I'd never crack. No matter what was thrown at me. But this job, this was supposed to be easy. A quick wage, I've earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state of the art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 8 or 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only even ever gets worse, and if it that was just the beginning. Maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't come back up after I pull the trigger. Well, time to find out. Well, you got your wish. Um, well, hmm. what's this? Electricity note. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electricity Guild. Due to ongoing power outstages, the guild has decided to personally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember these generators are running high voltage currents if only were to be stuck or impersonated by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could get electrocuted. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid safety first as the saying goes, if we make it through this mess, I have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargaining prices. Your neighbor, electrician, Sam. Oh, good to know, Sam. Oh, hello, dogs. That wasn't meant to happen, but... Whoops. Oh, I've got to equip it, that's why.
Hmm. That number achievement. Nice. I don't know if I have anything to go with this red herb, so I have to store it, unfortunately. Um, what's this? Facts from the substation chief. To employees in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implicated an intentional power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in order in the control room to reactivate the power grid. Well, that's good to know. Looks well, like I have to go in there, which is. Oh, oh God. smells like. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. So I got to store some stuff. this. Oh, it's a lot pick. Nice. Which means, what was that? I can, I would dub, double bank now and unlock everything that had a lot pick. Damn, right, if I go back now, does this mean...
A load of double blue. Oh, another ice bird. Oh, I can't take that. God damn it. I'll take that. Saw that. Uh... Yeah, I know, a lot of back tracking kind of thing. So, what was that? Oh, he's still alive. Oh, that was a complete miss. Still back for more? The original Charlie doll was based on the likeness of toy uncle's founder Charlie McBaggin and has become the mascot for the company we are pleased to president this proclaimed Charlie doll as a celebration of our 21st anniversary. Oh wait, I didn't get to read the rest of that. Individually handcrafted with love and care by our staff, and this limited edition item makes for a precious gift. We hope he'll find his place as a cherished member of our of your family. Caution: This product is extremely fragile. Take care not to drop it or strike it. No, oh, just got another achievement. Nice. Oh, he's still alive. Yeah, I can't go down there. Oh wait, yes I can. God damn it. Right, there was a item box and locker in here. Mm. 
never raised brain, nice. Find a low raised race today. Shotgun ammo. Right, that area is pretty much clean. Oh, I can go back this way. Okay, right. store that and take out these another goddamn grenade I pretty much have got I ain't got no more. Oh, it's in the car. No, for fuck's sake. How many bullets is it? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. There we go. Right now, I've like got everything. Yeah, I've pretty much scoped out this area. This way. Yeah, I apologize. I did not plan, you know, more backtracking involvement, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. I like my ammo. And hopefully, there should be a save point at this point somewhere. Hopefully. Yeah, here's the save point. So, that's all been saved. So I don't have to do all that again. Well, you don't have to see me do all that again. Good reason. So, um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm pretty sure it's run around about somewhere around about 20 minutes, somewhere around there. I really want to go in there, but I feel that, you know, it's long enough for me to end the video question mark. I don't know. But is it worth taking the risk? Probably not. I'm, I am definitely going to end it. I'm just like, is it worth the risk? Mm, probably not. So, um, I hope that you enjoy the sort of bit of a, you know, side track, back tracking that I did in part two and part three, you know, getting the shotgun, getting a load of ammo, uh, collecting the jewels. Um, I had a funny feeling that the jewels was meant for something, but I had no idea it was for that, um, you know, the clock thing, but uh, now I know. I've up, sort of a little bit of upgraded my shotgun a little bit, um, just in case. Uh, that's not, no, that's not, there we go. Um, got more ammo for it now. That's if it lets me go on it, there we go. Um, obviously, I will be using the pistol quite a lot because obviously... I still got like shitload of ammo on it. So even though the machine gun's got more ammo, but you know, I'm saving that for a good reason. But nevertheless, I hope that you've enjoyed uh, this video. If you want more Resident Evil 2, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, everyone.